now we are going to uh, start the actually the basic uh, you can say the classification of the organic compounds so what happen as you all know that organic compounds are actually those compounds which are mainly made up of carbon they contain carbon they may contain hydrogen or they may contain some other element also but the main criteria is that that they should contain uh, the carbon we have already done that our carbon actually possess certain characteristics certain important characteristics like catenation tetravalency allotrophy that makes it so versatile in nature that we get to see so many compounds in nature and that is why we have a separate branch of chemistry there uh, in uh, in which we are just study about the carbon and its compounds so the organic compounds are actually the compounds which are derived from plants and animals and mainly they are formed of carbon so make it clear that they may contain some other atom also or element in traces but uh, it is compulsory that they will contain a carbon atom right so here i'm going to classify the organic compounds so that you should be familiar that what kind of or uh, this thing what sub types of organic compounds we can classify into or what kind of compounds with different properties we can uh, found uh, for the organic compounds so see this is our organic compound so i divide this or uh, it is being uh, actually divided into two categories that is the open chain and the closed chain right so the open chain is actually called as aliphatic or you can call it as acyclic you can also call it as acyclic so we have acyclic or aliphatic compounds and we have closed chain or acyclic compounds as the name suggests you i think you got it that open chain that means we are going to see only the chains like this we will be seeing only the chains these chains can be branched somehow but uh, they will be only chain they will no, they won't be connected to each other so all those compounds which are either straight chain or whether they occur in branches they all belong to the category of the open chain aliphatic or we can call it as acyclic compounds and when we get to see the carbon atoms forming a ring like structure then they are they fall under the category of the cyclic compounds like suppose i have this right so this is actually a ring like structure a closed ring like structure in which the carbon is present so that structure is actually called as closed chain or a cyclic kind of structure now aliphatic hydrocarbon is further divided into two categories depending upon that whether the bonding between the carbon carbon is single double or triple as we know that that carbon has the property to form a single bond with the other carbon or a double bond with the carbon or a triple bond with carbon so on the basis of that we divide them into two branches that is the saturated and the unsaturated saturated ones are actually called as alkanes they are called as alkanes in which there is only single bonding present throughout the chain but when we talk of unsaturated they actually are divided into two categories the alkenes and alkynes where the, in alkenes we found that there is at least minimum one double bond is present in a chain and in alkyne we get to see that minimum one triple bond may present and we may encounter a molecule in which the double and triple bond, bond both are present that actually falls under the category of the unsaturated system right so that means it possesses the alkene character also as well as the alkyne we may found that also right so here uh, we classify acyclic into saturated unsaturated saturated as, as alkanes unsaturated as double bond and triple bond ones that is the alkenes and the alkynes and now we uh, move off to move on to the uh, divisions of the cyclic one so cyclic as i told you that there is a ring like structure right so there uh, we have a ring like structure we actually divide it into two types that is the alicyclic and the aromatic alicyclic is that in which the carbon of a straight chain they are just uh, connected to each other in order to form a ring like right? so i'll show you suppose i have this in which each corner represent my ch2 so this is actually an alicyclic compound compound that is the cyclic ring and when we talk of aromatic aromatic uh, they as the name suggests they have a typical aroma that means they have a typical fragrance fragrance so when we talk about of aromatic compounds actually they consist can they consist of uh, again a ring like structure and uh, they are further divided into two categories the benzoid and the non benzoid if an aromatic compound contains the benzene ring now what is the benzene ring it is the ring of six carbons connected to each other with three alternate three alternate double bond 
this is a benzoid. So, any uh, compound which carries this kind of ring falls obviously is a this thing an aromatic compound or is a cyclic compound because there is a closed ring right and when you get to see this kind of ring so it belongs to a category of benzoid and when there is uh, a ring but typically not a benzene ring like we have this thing. This is typically a naphthalene. So, it possesses a ring, but uh, it is not a benzene ring. So, it is actually called as a non benzoid compound. So, this is how we divide the organic compounds into different one. I think you got it that when there is a chain, whether branched or unbranched, it falls in the category of acyclic. But whenever you get to see a ring containing a benzene or without benzene or some other ring, it falls in the category of cyclic. So, uh, aliphatic further divided into saturated, unsaturated with single bond, double or triple bond. Alicyclic with a closed ring, right? And uh, this thing, uh, and this may also contain any other atom in, uh, in addition to this carbon, right? And aromatic is that which actually contains, uh, if it contains a benzene ring, it belongs to a benzoid like structure. And when it possesses a ring, but particularly not a benzene ring, it is a non benzoid structure. So, this is our uh, a basic classification of the organic compounds. So, just look at the board, practice it, make a flow chart, and just go through it.